Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing great. My name is Waringa. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. So today I want to tell you guys a story and I know most of you can relate with this story. And I know for sure that I am not the crazy one. Some of you I can tell, I know you have done worse things than I have done by y'all. Sometimes you gotta do what are you gonna do? <laughs> like we're in love, but it goes so fast. All tied up, like a captain. I want to. Okay, I want to. I want to read you a text message that had been sent to me some time back by this woman. It has been years, but I am able to keep messages for years if I wanted to. Actually, it was in 2018, yeah, I'm thinking so. It was in 2018. Until now, I still have this message because I keep thinking this woman was crazy. So here comes the message. Bear in mind, I am a stranger. You just came to know me by way of you coming to my premises. I have no interest of talking to you. What pains me is this cast generation, which wants things to go their way they respect no one look at the way they are dying young because they have chosen to go the wrong path of life and can't be told so we were in the lair and i'm like woman are you trying me <laughs> so you can tell by now that this is this was my landlady and I will tell you what, what happened until she sent me that message. This is what happened. Some years back, I lived uh, in Moshada on your way to Banana. There's like a place called Moshada. And during that time, there was so much crime going on. Uh, Alafu, I used to work in two rivers and I was working as a waitress. And you know, your chances of <laughs> getting home at 1 a.m., at 2 p.m., at 1.30 a.m., when you're working in a restaurant, the chances of you getting at home during those hours are so high. And it, I came to my, senses, to my senses and I told myself, maybe I need to move from this place. It's not good for me. It's not safe enough for me. Because imagine that those thugs that come and break in into your house at night. That is what used to go on around that area. And they had come to that uh, apartment that I lived in like three times. They even tried, at one time, they even tried to break in into my house. And I got so, so scared. So I told myself, if these guys are coming uh, at night, sometimes even at 12, imagine, there's the time they tried to break in, to break in into my house, it was around 12 a.m. So I told myself, Sis Kumonia Dr. Nana wat kwanjia when I am coming from work. Tongia lugagani. So I told myself, maybe the, the worst thing to do is to move out of that house. And it just happened that I had paid my rent like three days, I'm a four days before I decided to move out. When I saw that things were going serious, like things were getting out of the hand. I had paid my rent three days before I decided to move out. And yeah, I, I knew I was going to go a loss, but I had no problem with that. So up and Yoshida Ilikujia, when I moved out, I told that woman, I want my deposit. I don't want the rent. I tell you rent in Ilikuwa, like three days. I don't want that. I just want my deposit. You know, like when you live in a house for like, Mm -hmm. For like three months, it's not a long time. How Jari Bukitoyote plus there was no child in my house. I lived alone, so I was not spending most of the time kwa house kwa house. So I told her to return my deposit. Unajwalikata. She refused. <laughs> she refused. I wasn't even asking for the rent that I had paid and had not sat on Kukalia. <laughs> and she refused. She refused Kabisa Kabisa to give me 
like i knew she was gonna do that that's all the landlords do like in kenya most of them not all but most of them they do that and i was like you know what i'm gonna teach this woman a lesson she's not gonna do that to me <laughs> so <laughs> i took this thing i took this thingy it's a token box a portable token box that you can use in your house i took this thing and she got so so mad i knew she was gonna refuse with my deposit like najuanga you need to be out I took this thing and she got so furious and I was happy. I mean, Anna Katana deposit yangu. How now? How? How now? Uh uh. Please. And then, Anna niende tini kai tu ati ati. She was telling me, niende le ni ni kai tu ni kani ya rent ati ni dafti deposit. I told her no. Unataka ni wawe kwanjia ni kitoka kazi. I told her no. So I told her, you either give me my deposit, I'm, a, I'm not going to return this thing. And she told me that she was going to return half my deposit. And I was like, woman, I just paid my rent like three days ago. So I'm not asking for the rent, just give me my deposit. And I'm going to give you half. Half? Who? Who half? <laughs> I told her, no, you're not going to give me half. It was not much of rent, but I knew this thing, it made her got so so furious that's why she was sending me such messages guys now i want you guys to tell me <laughs> what is the craziest thing you have ever done to your landlord or to your agent because these people i feel like in kenya they take advantage of of your situation like y'all they can do anything to you most of them not all of them most of them Mimi imagine wewe chuko pesa yangu alafu nikwache hiyo bunge. Siwezi, siwezi kukwache hiyo bunge especially for landlords. Me I normally have a problem with these people. Si urudishe kimu tu deposit yake. Aende zake na wewe ukomboleshe nyumba yako. Alafu she was telling me that you do this, you just return it. <laughs> now when she 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 got to find out that I was being serious that I was not going to return it. She started to switch talk me. Now you do this. You just return it. And then when the house gets a, a client, uh, then I'm going to give you back your money. Do you know? It's a lie. She was not going to give me back the money. Ati mtu wakipata hii nyumba sasa, ikikombolewa, I'm going to return the money to you. How crazy is that? Tulikuwa mwisho wa mwezi. So people had paid rent. See, she just takes that money and pay me my deposit. Hey, aki watu wapa nje siniwenda wazimu. <laughs> but never try me. Me, don't try me. Imagine don't try me with that nonsense. Especially a nyumba. I am a peaceful person. I don't know why people don't want me to be a civilized citizen for once. Let me be a civilized citizen. Kama tuliandikiana, vile tuliandikiana ikuwe hivyo. Don't start coming with stories that are not making sense. <laughs> I'm gonna take things from you. You will keep thinking that I am mad. Anyway, Ebu tell me the craziest thing that you have ever done. <laughs> I know some of you are more crazy, like I said, than I am. So Ebu, you guys tell me what you have ever done to your landlord to your agent because these guys i think someone should teach them a lesson i love you know you cannot start going to to the police at now i think we all know how that will go down then you'll be left there wondering whatever happened to you this woman and she's old i don't know why she has such behaviors Cause ni mama mzeni, it's like my mom. Anafa kukwa na adabu. Anafa kuelewa vile mambo hiko. Na unajua vile the way I was earning my money na mchungu mingi. Do you think working until 1am it's a joke? Na saizo maybe uli ingia shift at 12. <laughs> and then someone wants to come and dandia that money. Wewe, wewe. <laughs> Ebu fikiria mizuri, fikiria mizuri. <laughs> Not my money. Imagine not my money. So, 
guys tell me have what have what is the craziest thing you have ever done to your landlord ama to your to your agent i am so so interested to hear this because i think i mimi pole i think mimi ni mzuri because when i hear some stories i'm like how can you do that how can you do that but i understand them mtu kama arudishi pesa afunzo ya dabu goodbye thank you for watching i will see you on my next video